Well, I think our mini budget, as always, uh, has been not inspiring. Um, Gigab actually, I think, you know, had the guts to say the truth about how difficult the economic situation is, which is something new and I think should be appreciated, but didn't have the ability to tell us that we could actually move in a different, in a different direction. And I think this is where our policymakers are failing. The idea, the complexity of resuscitating economic growth is enormous. But we could do so much better even without economic growth or without that much economic growth if we were to use our resources much more responsibly. And that means not investing in energy systems that make no sense, actually approaching energy as a decentralized public good, which could be produced at different levels in different localities and would be much less costly for government, for local government and for people themselves. It would be about uh, tackling some of the inequalities that we still have. Also, cleaning up governments, reducing corruption and inviting people to embark on a redistribution process. One thing that I find extremely exciting is that because of our levels of inequality, we could afford for the first time something called universal basic income in this country. By giving our households 500 rand a month, we could really lift millions of South Africans out of poverty, reducing the massive cost of social grants by simply unifying the system. Nowadays, we spend a lot of money and a lot of inefficiencies in running our social grant systems, as you know. We could have a universal system that gives each and every household 500 rand, changing the way in which people understand money, not giving them the perverse incentive of having to have kids and having to have unemployed people in order to get it. They would get it anyway. And with that little expenditure, um, we could really eradicate poverty or at least lift out of poverty millions and millions of households. Those are the kind of, this is the kind of conversation I think I'd like to have at a time when economic growth is going down. And rather than crying about it, I would rather have a conversation about how do we optimize the resources we already have. Um, we talk about ESCOM all the time, we've experienced low shedding, we've experienced a number of problems, corruption, scandals, mismanagement, and uh, often the debate is about how to fix ESCOM, how to make it more transparent, work more efficiently. I think that would be good, but certainly not the future. The future is about having decentralized energy, producing energy through renewables on each rooftop, in each community, people owning their own energy systems, cities owning their energy grids so that they can exchange energy across uh, households, factories and cities without relying on a centralized system of energy production, which is so inefficient for many different reasons. You know, we lose 30% of our electricity just by transporting it. But if you produce locally, you don't have to transport electricity. Um, a power failure in one of the central plants causes blackouts across the country. If you have a decentralized system, that doesn't happen. And it's good for the environment. I'm not advocating another independent power producers program, which was large solar, large wind, requiring billions and billions of rand to activate. I'm advocating a decentralized energy system that focuses on renewables to empower households and factories and cities where people own the energy systems themselves.